Welcome to Abacus Tutorials. We'll be discussing how to extract frequency and mode shapes out of a structure. And the reason this information is important is because these are fundamental dynamic characteristics of the structure and they can drive the transient response of the structure due to loads applied. In addition to that, frequency and mode shapes can be very important to characterize to avoid resonant frequencies and so for that reason we want to study this behavior i'll introduce lifu wang that will walk us through this tutorial thank you lifu thank you professor goyao and hello everyone welcome to another fun element tutorial today we're going to use the model we just created for the last project and use it for a dynamic characterization analysis so this tutorial mainly help you with how to help you with abacus operation on getting the natural frequencies and the mode shape, corresponding mode shape. <clears throat> so set your working directory and then open the project we created last time. You can see that last time uh, we have this uh, airfield shell and we apply the static load to it, which is uh, upward pressure. So today, we don't need to make too much changes to this to get a, a mode shape. So go to the step. We can suppress the step for the uh, for the pressure. And now we can create mode shape analysis it's better to have a under slash for the name sometimes it will have some problems uh, in abacus so here choose the linear perturbation and choose the frequency this is getting you the natural frequency for the structure and we have three ways here to obtain the eigenvalues or the natural frequencies for that for the structures Lenzos is very useful when you are trying to get a wide range of frequencies, uh, like all the modes inside a wide range of frequencies. Uh, and subspace is easier to use when you tr want to get just a field of the frequency, uh, natural frequencies. So let's use Lenzos today. And we choose values here and then we only output six uh, mode for the geometry. And we don't need damping operator for this. Uh, so it's directly applied to the initial structure. So it will not be affected by any force you applied later. And then in the, at the load, you can also see our initial, in the initial step, we have a fixed cons constraint here. So you also can see here, because we suppress the load, so the force also will be suppressed. So you don't need to change anything, including the mesh. So now we can directly run it. And let's create one model mode shape. Oh, before we run mode shape, well, this will report the arrow. Let's see. This will definitely report the arrow. Uh, there's a reason for that, and I'll explain later. So you can see here. So no element with mass matrix. So previously, we are doing static analysis uh, so we don't need mass for that. There's no uh, dynamics inside. So now we are doing a model dynamics, so it need a mass matrix, which means in your properties, you need to assign the density for this. So, oh, sorry. So here in the properties, add it, and we're going to get the density for the composites. So, if you remember previously, we get the material from this website and this 2510 uh, plan Woven 
Firebrick. We can open this and go to the 2510 plan uh, woven fabric composite, the user menu. We can control F, search for density. And Yeah, we can use densities here, which is 1.78 grams per centimeter cube. And which also means uh, 1780 kilograms per meter cube. So go back to the abacus, 1780 kilograms per meter cube. Now we go back and rerun the step again. So after this analysis, you should be able to get the mode, uh, natural frequency for the structure and the mode shape, corresponding mode shape for the structure too. <clears throat> we can see the result. So in the option common, choose the free age and it won't show you the mesh. And now we can see, uh, let's say U, displacement U2, or just displacement magnitude. So you have six mole shape here. This is your first mole shape with uh, natural frequencies, 3.34 cycles per time. So it's uh, Hertz. So 3.345 Hertz. And this is the mole shape, first mole shape. And the second one, you have this one. This is the mole shape. It has a little bit buckles here, but then you have uh, upward deformation. Third one, purely buck buckled. It has buckle at the, at the end. And then fifth one and the sixth one. Sorry, sixth one. This is double direction buckling. So these are the mole shape that you can have. And the maximum frequency we have here is 21 uh, cycles per time or 21.7 Hertz. So this is a very short reading video helping you to obtain the mole shape from your elevator. Hope that this can help you. And I'll hand it back to Professor Goyang.